Welcome to the OCPS Parent Portal Consent Forms video tutorial. This video will guide you through the process of completing your students' consent forms via your OCPS Parent Portal account. Please note, the online consent forms must be completed on a desktop or laptop and cannot be completed from a mobile device. Families who do not have access to a desktop or laptop can contact their child's school for additional support. First, you must log into your OCPS Parent Portal account. Step 1. Navigate to parents.classlink.com forward slash OCPS. Step 2. Log into your OCPS Parent Portal account using the email or cell phone number you use to register. Step 3. Once you have logged into the OCPS Parental Portal, select the Skyward Parents icon. Next, you will navigate to the online consent forms. To ensure you are on the appropriate page, Step 1. Select the Home tab. Step 2. Select the student name from the drop-down if you have more than one student enrolled in the district. Please note, if you only have one student who attended Orange County Public School, then no action is required for Step 2, as your student's name will automatically populate underneath the Family Access label at the top of your screen. And finally, Step 3. Select Fill Out Online Form for your student's name to complete the Parent Consent Forms, also known as the PCF. The District Message Step 1. Read the District Message Once you have read the District Message, please continue to Step 2 and select Next to review and complete the 2023 Student Technology Acceptable and Responsible Use Agreement. Next, you will complete the 2023 Student Technology Acceptable and Responsible Use Agreement. Step 1. Read the 2023 Student Technology Acceptable and Responsible Use Agreement. Step 2. To acknowledge you have read the agreement, select the box with the understanding that individuals and families may be held liable for violations. Once the box has been selected, proceed to Step 3. Step 3. Select Yes if you give consent to approve social media platforms for the purpose of education activities. Please note, the selection of Yes must only be selected by the parent or guardian of a high school student. Otherwise, if you are a parent or guardian of an elementary or middle school student, your selection must be No. Once you have made a selection, Please proceed to Step 4 and select the Complete Step 1 and Move to Step 2 button. Next, complete the 2023 Model Release Form, Consent, Waiver, and Release. Step 1. Read the 2023 Model Release Form, Consent, Waiver, and Release. Once you have read the 2023 Model Release Form, proceed to Step 2 and select Yes if you give consent to students' photographs, video, footage, or likeness with or without sound in OCPS informational or promotional materials for current or future use. Once you have made a selection, proceed to Step 3. Select Complete Step 2 and move to Step 3. Next, you will complete the 2023 Public Notice of Parent Rights Student Records Step 1. Read the 2023 Public Notice of Parent Rights Student Records Step 2. Select No if you do not want your child's directory information released. Otherwise, select Yes. Once you have made a selection, proceed to Step 3 and select Complete Step 3 and move to Step 4. Next, complete the 2023 Health Services Consent Form. Step 1. 
Read the 2023 Health Services Consent Form. Step 2. Select yes or no on whether you opt in your child to participate in at least one portion of the school health services programs including school clinic services, hearing and vision screening, growth and development screening, scoliosis screening or behavioral health well-being questionnaire, including additional health services as indicated on the 2023 health services consent form. Once a selection has been made, proceed to step three. Step three, select yes or no on whether you give OCPS permission each time Medicaid is assessed to release and exchange personal identifiable information with the Medicaid physical agent for the purpose of determining Medicaid eligibility status and billing for reimbursable services referenced on the IEP. Once a selection has been made, proceed to step four and select complete step four and move to step five. You are now ready to submit the 2023 parent consent forms, also known as the PCF. Step 1. Verify all of the forms have been completed. Each form must be marked as completed along with the completion date and completion timestamp. Once all forms have been verified as completed, please proceed to Step 2. Step 2. Select Submit 2023 PCF to submit the forms. You have successfully submitted all of your 22-23 parent consent forms. Thank you. Next, you'll select Home to return to the Parent Portal homepage. Please note, if you are receiving a device from your child's school, you are not required to complete the device refusal form. The form will only be completed if you are refusing a device for your student and have opted to bring your own device. If you have opted to bring your own device, proceed to Step 2 and select Fill Out Online Form for your student's name to complete the 2023 Device Refusal Form. You will only complete the 2023 device refusal form if you have opted to bring your own device. Step 1. Read the 2023 device refusal form. Step 2. Select yes for device refusal acknowledgement if you refuse the device. Step 3. Select bring your own device or traditional curriculum for request. Step 4 enter the request date. If you selected bring your own device, enter the device make, model, serial number, and MAC address. Please note, if you select a traditional curriculum in the request field, enter NA for the make, model, serial number, and MAC address fields. These fields must be completed to complete the form. Once you have entered all of the information, proceed to Step 6 and select the Complete Step 1 and move to Step 2 button. You are now ready to submit the 2023 Device Refusal Form. Step 1. Verify the 2023 Device Refusal Form was completed. The form must be marked as completed along with the completion date and completion timestamp. Once the form has been verified as completed, please proceed to Step 2. Step 2. Select the Submit 2023 Device Refusal Form button to submit the forms. You have successfully submitted the 2023 Device Refusal Form. Thank you.